Welcome back to The Big Show. Yeah, time to uh, talk all things entertainment. And we want to welcome our Hollywood insider, Steve Helling, back to Daily Flash. Hey, Steve Helling, speaking of the Pulse of All. Good to be here. Yes. Good to be here. Man, we got a plethora of yeah, things to chat to about. Yes. about. Yes. What's going on in yeah. the entertainment So world. you've likely heard the saying, hell hath no fury like a scorned woman. Well, now add memoir and you'll get the idea between Britney's new tell-all. Yeah. Uh, her book, Woman and Me, has just been released and the LA Times has come away with a list of takeaways. And Steve, we want to get your reaction to a few mm. of these that we took away from the book. Uh, she never had a problem with alcohol. She said her drug of choice was Adderall. Interesting. Uh, that tracks. That, yeah. that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, <laughs> that, that makes sense. Um, you know, I, I never, we never saw her drunk. We saw her high. We saw her, Excited, yeah, yeah. Uh, energetic, I right. guess would be a lot of things. Maybe exactly. that might be uh, the Adderall that she is doing with the dances now, maybe. Right. I don't know. Yeah, and she said she also started taking Prozac in about 2000, was given an envelope full of drugs under her conservatorship. Uh, and she smokes, present tense, Virginia Slims. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I think uh, one big surprise, well, it's not necessarily a surprise, but we all know about the relationship with Justin yes. Timberlake, and we learned some things out of this, week, which could be shocking, I guess, right? Yeah, I think so. According to to Brittany, uh, he takes the cake as the primo jerk. What do you know, Steve? I mean, that's that also tracks with what I've heard. I mean, I'm not surprised. I mean, they were young, that young, and yeah. he was he was a little punk at the time. Um, I hope he's outgrown a lot of the behavior that he did when he was with Brittany, because you know he really did damage her in in, in a pretty profound way. And yeah. They were going back and forth with songs too. My understanding, yeah. Crimea River has something to do with yeah. That. Like, and saying. she claims he cheated on her numerous times, then broke up with her over text, saying it's over. Over. That's it. That's all he sent her. I mean, you know, classy. Again, <laughs> I, I give him a little bit of leeway only because he was so young and they were so young at the time. But, you know, really, um, you know, that was... That was toxic. It was a toxic, toxic relationship. There you go. Yeah, there yeah. you Didn't go. Even borrow one of her lines. Exactly. Uh, but the big thing, I think, it, since they are young, had to deal with some major adult situations, yeah. uh, including a child. Yeah. Right? The pregnancy. Yeah. You know, she terminated a pregnancy. She's pretty upfront about that. She does say that while she was cramping and you know recovering from that, he was just playing guitar. So, you know, she doesn't have really anything good to say about him. No, but but her dad in this book is the one that really takes the cake mm -hmm. for being the worst in the 300-page bio. What do we know about her dad? I mean, she she lays it all, all out there. The conservatorship, you know, all the, you know, the things that he made. I think at one point they put her on lithium, she says. You know, it was just, it was a really it, bad thing. And he was wanting to make her do it. It's really risque dance, yeah. too, right? Yeah, and which it, is a weird thing. And she was like, no, I don't want to do it, right? Yeah. Exactly. And, That's weird. To hear and so that. he put yeah. it on lithium. So, yeah. Okay. yeah. And then she was confined in rehab, she said, for 90 days. And when she was there, she really didn't even recognize the person that she yeah. was. Hmm. I mean, good for her for telling this whole thing. Yeah. I'm sure it was painful Ooh. to write, but, you know, I think it's. It, hopefully will help her heal from some of her trauma. Yeah, so. well, speaking of female pop stars, Madonna is back on the road. It's her 40th anniversary celebration tour. The reviews are kind of mixed, but a lot of people are calling her out for her plastic surgery. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, she is a woman in her 60s at yes, this point. True. So she's doing what she can do to look the way she wants. Yeah. And that does include a lot of plastic and, Well, And we lost the, she does, I don't even recognize her here, but yeah. when she lost the eyebrows, I think is what kind of took me yeah. uh, away from what we know her as. But, uh, and then, the, the, but the concerts themselves are not really as energetic and musically uh, uh, filled. No, right? uh, the, some of the criticism is that she's talking way too much about herself on stage and that mm -hmm. um, she's late. She's notoriously late to her. She's shows. always been late. Yeah. And, and I think part of the reason why she's talking so much is that there are all these technical issues and you got to fill Oh, that's space a thing. Or something. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So. I can see that. The, she is getting props though for you know she's giving Taylor Swift a run for her money when it comes to eras because she's giving everybody a glimpse into all the different eras call. from the '80s, you mm -hmm. know, the Like a Virgin, the Material Girl, to you know the dance grooves of you know yeah. getting to the groove and then so on and mm -hmm. so forth. So, what's your take on her covering all of well, this? Well, I mean, she's been around for 40 years, yes! so I think I think her first album came out 40 years ago this wow. year. So, yeah, she's got a lot of eras. And, yeah. and in some ways, you know, at, at some point, these stars start realizing, I'm not going to be touring forever. I'm not going to be doing this forever. So let's do kind of, you know, a, a throwback to all these things. And speaking of throwback, she also threw some a shade it's towards Cher. the share. Which is her contemporary, if you yeah. think about it, because back in 91, she, she said, she, she said she was just mean, called her mm -hmm. a mean person. 
Yeah, I mean, Cher calls it like she sees it. Yeah, yeah she did. that's what I love about She it. did, and then, you know, Cher's come out since, and she's like, yeah, I did call her mean. I called her something worse, too. <laughs> um, she's like, and I've apologized for it, and she's forgiven me, everything. But I don't think that there's really... Like hatred between the two of them. I think I it's think just kind of it's going. No, and I think she she said I've got to give her props because she was always ahead of the curve. Yeah. But when she came to my house with my friend Sean Penn, this is Cher talking. <laughs> she was extremely rude to all my dinner guests, and I could see that. Yeah, I, I could see that. Madonna yeah. being extremely rude. Snap out of it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Apple TV's The Morning Show out, and the tagline for the new season change is in the air. Take a look. I'm all over this network. I need to have a say in the future of this place. What you are asking is unprecedented. I am unprecedented. You want that seat at the grown-up table, but it's not your turn, Alex. Don't forget to shut the door on your way out. <laughs> so Jennifer's getting a bunch of, of slack for too much plastic surgery. I think she I looks great yeah. to me. I think she looks terrific. Yeah. Like I need the name, the name of her surgeon. I have a couple things for uh, her. Right? Right? Uh, so. I don't know. I think she looks terrific. I mean, she's in her mid fifties, and so yeah, what if she gets she a couple things? There done. was a movie she did with Vince Vaughn not that long ago where we got to see the most of Jennifer Aniston <gasps> we've ever seen, and she looked amazing. Yeah. The breakup was that the one? breakup? I yes. believe. Yeah, yes. the, the breakup, and yeah. she, you only got to see the backside of her. Yeah. <laughs> that side looked good. <laughs> <laughs> but a, a plastic surgeon in New York came forward and said, "Hey, you know, I think she's had this done and this done and this." Done but who cares? Who cares? Good for her. Yeah. Like, why not? It's, I know. Exactly. It's almost 2024. You know, why should we even worry yeah. about that? You look great. Uh, yeah. And if you look great as well. I don't think you need the cruise. Uh, don't, don't worry about that. Steve, thank you so <laughs> much. Thank you so much. Love having you on yes. here. Good to be here. By all means, folks can catch you where? They can catch me on Instagram. Uh, Steve Helling is my name. That's my handle. All right, so. Very That's simple. Very easy. That's simple. Thank all right, so Steve. Thank you. We always appreciate you stopping thank by. You. <laughs> all right. Daily Flash will continue in just a moment.